I woke up early this morning and I stayed in bed for about an hour. So, the hustle is rough. What do I mean by that? So usually on YouTube, you see a lot of people talk about the fun side of their hustle, like, of course, their harvest, their gain. For example, let's say you're in medical school or pharmacy school, and you always see the fun part when they're in their white coats, when they're in the labs, and um, they're passing their exams and all that fun stuff. That's all in great, but I feel like it's important to show the other side, you know? I woke up early this morning and I stayed in bed for about an hour, just sitting there, deciding whether to get out of bed or not. And I was thinking about a lot of things. And first of all, I was just on spring break and I was not ready to get back into the grind of things. Number two, I have an exam coming up this Wednesday. And on top of that, the same date's my birthday. And then the day after that, I'm my wisdom teeth removed. So it's just a lot going through my mind. Not that I'm afraid or anything, but of course there's some kind of fear going into the exam. I'm not gonna lie. I mean, I'm gonna be honest. You know, this is me taking this for the second time. And there's gonna be times when the enemy is gonna put doubt in your mind and you're just gonna be like sitting there trying to figure out how did I get myself into this? Why am I doing this in the first place? Can I do it? Am I kidding myself? Am I over my head? You know, am I in over my head, you know? So I feel like, you know, especially on the media especially YouTube you see a lot of people putting the glamorous part of it all but I think it's important to show the other side and this is the side I'm trying to show you that today was a rough day this is the day that the Lord has made I'll rejoice and be glad in it so I pushed through I finally got out of bed <laughs> and I went to the quiet study area at my school to study and it was just really hard getting into it it's just you know <sighs> yet again doubt anxiety thoughts running through your head so you know before I studied I had to pray I prayed to God like God just take over my mind take over my mind take over my heart Help me get through this day. Help me study and let me be able to retain the things that I'm studying, first of all. Uh, you know, and just help me just have a little bit more faith that I can do this. That you did not bring me this far to let me go. That you brought me to this place. That you created me and all things are possible through you. You know, and he did not give us the spirit of fear, but he gave us a spirit of sun, mind, joy, and peace. So I had to pray before getting into studying because I was not in the mood of studying. I wasn't prepared. Uh, I just wasn't mentally there. And I do think it's partly fear. Fear can manifest itself in so many ways. Fear doesn't mean just you're sitting there shaking and scared about something. Fear can manifest in so many different ways. You know, an acronym of fear that I've heard is false evidence appearing real. Fear can make things look like a mountain in front of you when it really isn't. Fear can stop you from doing the things that you are meant to do in life. Fear can just take control over you that you really start believing that you really cannot do it. Though you know you can, fear holds you back. And like I was saying, fear does manifest in different ways. It can manifest through laziness, it can manifest through procrastination, 
And I think with me, a little bit, it manifested through me not trying to, trying to get up this morning because I just felt like, what's the point? What's the point? Um, how am I going to do on this exam on Wednesday? And I felt like I should share that with you because I am a human being. I feel things just like you feel things. And, you know, every journey in your life, whether it's a new job, whether it's school, whether it's a project, whether it's a career, there's going to be hurdles that you're going to face. And I'm here just to tell you, I'm going through those things too. It might seem like I got it all together, but I really, I'm trying day by day. I'm depending on God to help me get through the rough days. And today I felt like it was one of those rough days. And as long as you stand firm and just keep going. Today, I didn't feel like studying, but you know what? I forced myself to study. I just, it took me a second to get my mind to like, shut up and like, okay, focus. Let's just try some problems. Let's just review. Let's just start. And what I did, I just started from the beginning of everything that I already studied. I already studied this stuff, but you know, fear. Uh, so I started from the beginning and I just started doing problems and re uh, reviewing. And then I took a, b a few breaks in between so that I don't overwhelm myself. And then I kept going. I had to start from somewhere. So if something similar like this happens to you, don't stop. Don't allow that fear to overtake you. Find yourself. Try to focus and get back into it and start from somewhere. Even if you just studied for 10 minutes, you did it. You did it. You didn't allow fear to stop you. Do another 10 minutes and then do another 10 minutes. And if you take, have to take multiple breaks in between, just do it. So I know today's video is a little different, but I felt like I had to share this with you just in case uh, you might see, think that other people on the social media and other people on the YouTube channel got it together and you're wondering, how come I can't do it? How come I keep feeling? How come I can't seem to be passing? Just know that we all go through it too. We all go through it too. It's just um, some choose not to show that part and I'm choosing to show this part and I'm here just to encourage you that we are in this together. We are in this together and God is going to see us through. He's going to bring us there. If you're in school, you will graduate. We will graduate. We will get there. We will get that diploma. We'll get that dream job. Everything that is yours will be yours. God has blessed you. So I hope you feel encouraged because I definitely, my day did start low, but it flipped over to, you know, on a higher note. So I just wanted to share this with you that don't let fear take you down. Fear is just false evidence appearing real. Those mountains are not really mountains. They're flatlands. They're, they're, they're valleys. You, you, can, you can do it. You can do it.